Hi kindergartners! Last week we made a magic carpet collage. This week we're going to use our imagination to picture a wonderful place that we can fly over in our magic carpet and we're going to make a landscape collage of that place. I'm going to show you my example landscape and if you look really carefully I bet you notice that instead of cutting my paper I actually tore it. So let's get started. So first I'm going to pick a paper for the sky. This sky paper is not going to get cut or torn. It's going to stay the way it is and I'm going to glue things on top of it. Now I need a paper for the background. That's the land that's furthest away. So I'm going to use dark green. I'm just going to turn it and tear it. And if for some reason you don't love it the first time, you can always turn it again and change it. Maybe I want a steeper hill. Okay, I have my background. Now for my middle ground, that's the land that's not as far away as the background, but not right up super close to us. That might be a little tall. Let me shorten it up. Okay, and if I want a sun that's rising or setting, like in my example with the pond, I'm going to take my scrap of yellow and I'm going to tear out a little curve. If it doesn't come out quite right the first time, try again or keep tearing. I do like that. Before I glue anything else, I'm just going to put a little glue at the bottom of the sun, like that. And get it back to where I liked it. That way it stays where I want it when I turn over this dark green piece to glue it. If you want other sky details, like little sun rays or clouds, add them now. I'm going to tear some little rectangles. If you want trees, I'm going to take a brown or a black or a gray. I have a scrap that came from my recycle bin that used to be a paper bag. You're going to tear yourself a rectangle and 
if this is a tree in the background, way over here, it would have a really tiny trunk, like that big. If this tree were in the middle ground, it would be a little bigger. It would be about that big. And if this tree were in the foreground, not only would it be really big, it would probably go off the page. It would be like that, right on the edge. And your foreground tree might have more detail since it's so close. So I'm gonna tear another little piece just to make a branch. or the leaves on your trees. You're just gonna take a scrap of whatever color you want and you're gonna tear a little blob for your background tree. A medium blob for your middle ground tree. for your foreground tree. Like that. And I have a little bit of room over here for some details. I could have another road or another pond. I could have some stones. I could have a flower. I think I'm going to make a little river. So I'm just gonna cut, or not cut, what am I doing? I'm tearing. I'm gonna tear a curve like that. I kind of like this angle for the river. So right next to this tear, I'm gonna try to make another tear and I'm gonna go slow so that I can kind of follow it. There we go, like that. Now you'll notice I have some paper hanging over here. It's hanging over the edge here. And this little sunbeam is hanging over the edge too. My advice, glue it all down first. Then when you're all done, take a pair of scissors and just trim off anything that hangs over. All right, let's get this glued down. Once you're happy with all your details and you've got your background, your middle ground, and your foreground, you're going to roll your glue stick all the way down. And you're going to cap it nice and tight so it doesn't dry out. Take your scissors and if you have anything hanging over the edge, give it a little trim. Recycle any scraps that are too small to use. Save the big stuff for a future project. 
All right, I hope you had fun kindergartners and I will have a new project for you next week.